Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. So as you can tell by the title down below, I'm going to be showing you guys a recipe of a crab mango and cashew dip. So this is something that Nick has requested. Um, if you see my other fishy <laughs> recipes, I don't eat seafood, it's just all for Nick. Um, so yeah, so he saw a recipe online. It had ricotta cheese in it, I believe, and I cannot stand ricotta cheese, like the smell or anything. Um, so I decided to kind of twist it a little bit, so hopefully it still works out all right. And also this is more of a cheaper alternative because I'm pretty much doing like a mayonnaise base. So mayo is obviously a lot cheaper than ricotta cheese. Um, so yeah, so hopefully it works out okay. And um, like on my previous crab recipe video, I'll let you guys know what he thinks of it when he tries it. So for the ingredients, it's obviously crab. So this is fresh cooked crab that he cooked yesterday. We want some cashew and mango. So that's obviously the three main ingredients for this dish. Plus, like I said, I'm going to do a mayonnaise base. So yeah, I've got some mayo here. This is the Kewpie mayo, the Japanese mayo. It is the best mayo. Um, I'm going to use some lemon juice and some spring onion as well. All right, so the first thing we're going to do, and I'm also going to be making a small batch as well. So the first thing I'm going to do is just grab a small handful of cashews. And I'm just going to roughly chop them up. So with my cashews as well, um, they are a really roasted cashews and they're non-salted, unsalted. Um, so I'm going to be adding salt into this dish. If you have salted cashews, and when I add salt, just completely leave that out because it'll be plenty of salt on the cashews already and if yours aren't roasted just toast them up into a frying pan for a little bit and then they'll be good to go but because these are already being roasted when I brought them I'm just gonna chop them up and just leave them how they are now with the spring onion just want to finally cut that into slices the lemon I'm just going to give it a bit of a roll to make it extra juicy and then cut it into quarters so I can use a quarter juice of one lemon yeah that's fine and I just want to do a very small um, cubes or dice And now, just in my little hand, um, uh, what is it called? Like a hand um, processor. I'm just going to add the mango pieces in there and just try and get it nice. And for either very fine or just like a smooth paste or like a puree. Just something so it's just not so... Um, big bits, although these aren't big bits, but in the dip these will be big bits All right, so that's the um, how my mango is looking so it's just a lot more finer and just more like a chunky puree All right, so my bowl here. I'm just going to start off with the crab meat um, <coughs> So I'm only making like a small portion like I said only Nick will eat it um, but I want to give him something so he can enjoy now as a snack and some leftovers for tomorrow. So I'm probably going to add uh, about half a cup of crab meat and then we want about half a cup of mayo. And then a juice of quarter of a lemon. I know these ones are extremely juicy, that's why I'm just going for a quarter. If yours isn't that juicy, maybe do half or a full, just depending on your lemon. But these are very juicy, these ones. And then all my mango here I'm going to add in. As well as the spring onions. So also with um, leaving the crab as nice chunks um, and the spring onion, it just gives it nice different textures and uh yeah, just gives it nice different textures throughout. So I've got about a quarter teaspoon of salt and I'm just going to be using some white pepper and do about one eighth of a teaspoon of the pepper. 
So just in a smaller bowl here, just because it just be a bit more nicer and neater, I'm going to transfer it into this bowl. And on the top, I'm going to sprinkle it with the cashew nuts. You can mix the cashew nuts in it if you like. I feel like they'll get quite soft and soggy pretty quickly. That's why I thought I'll just rest them on the top. Because again, you just want your different textures for this step. Okay, that is the recipe. Um, I don't know if he is actually going to have it now after tea. So I might just put in the description what he thought of the recipe. And obviously if he did not like it at all, I won't be uploading it. So if you see this video, if you're watching it right now, it must have been good. So thanks so much for watching and I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye.